together with other Kenyans, we have watched with lots of bewilderment, hard to believe pronouncements, and difficulty, Mr. Speaker, to believe that here is where we find ourselves as a nation. Despite the many challenges that we have gone through over the years, it was our hope, Mr. Speaker, that public officials would have picked up a lesson or two, especially those that are slightly older than yours truly, and many that are younger than me in this house, Mr. Speaker, and that in their conduct, they will reflect better the skills, demeanor, pronouncements of a leadership, Mr. Speaker, that this country continues to yearn for. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, listening to the case that has been brought to us by the National Assembly, I have reason to believe beyond any doubt in my mind, Mr. Speaker, that they have justified the case that they have brought before us and have been able to ably demonstrate to us and to the country, Mr. Speaker, that there is no other cure by design of our Constitution to the challenges, either political or legal or otherwise, that are being faced, Mr. Speaker, by the workings and the working relationship between the President and his deputy, other than by way of impeachment.